Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this might get a little weird. Welcome to Extraordinary Times. If this is your first time, thank you for joining us. And actually, thank you for joining us again. If you're joining us again, we really appreciate you. First story of today takes us back to California, San Diego, actually, where a woman we talked about before, Alejandra Chiselle Guzman Salazar, the daughter of one of the biggest drug lords in Mexico, was trying to sneak into the U.S. using a fake passport, well, somebody else's passport, the thumbprint didn't match or whatever, and that's how they caught her, but uh, the reason that she gave that she was trying to sneak into America <clears throat> is that... She wanted to have her baby, which she is seven months pregnant with, in America. I mean, your daddy has more money than God in, in Mexico, and you're coming here to have it for free? I mean, honestly, woman, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And also, you know, your dad has a wife. Uh, you know, He has three wives, but one of his wives is younger than you by like 10 years. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just, just, you know, do us all a favor. Just turn him in. It'll help us out. It'll help you out. It'll be a good day. Next door, I wanted to cover. We talked about Lance Armstrong kind of giving up his fight against the uh, U.S. Anti-Doping Agency. And then the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency came out with this long, detailed report of all the different ways that uh, other people who said that they doped with Lance Armstrong doped. And uh, and they're still riding in the sport, but because it's Lance Armstrong, they're stripping him of titles and kicking him out of the sport, and he can never uh, compete again. Well, the story down below kind of details all uh, all of that. But the the thing that got me was that the guy's name who wrote it, and he's a founding president of the World Anti Doping Agency. His name is, and I'm not making this up, Dick Pound. Really, that's that's most of the significance of that. The other part, of course, is that Lance Armstrong's like his his sponsors are fleeing like like they did Tiger Woods. Like it was bad when Tiger Woods lost all of his sponsors. <clears throat> and uh, and the the biggest thing about that is that he actually just abdicated his his uh, place at Livestrong, which you know y'all have those Livestrong bracelets. All you all you crazy people that do crazy things. Well, he's leaving, so I don't even know what's going to happen with that anymore. Nobody does. It's kind of scary. Just in case you haven't been watching the debates, by the way, the uh, our dear president and his running mate both had a decently significant amount of time more of debate time than their counterparts in the Republican Party did. I'm not sure if that's really newsworthy to to some people, but for me, that details a lack of, uh, well, in the words of the left, fairness. Uh, you know, they, 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 they tout that they want things to be fair and, and balanced and, and give everyone a fair shot, except those dirty Republicans who keep trying to talk against them and whatever, and, you know call them out on fibbing. Granted, there's some fibs on the right side too, so, you know, it's all it's all bad. Uh, politics is bad, okay? That being said, go vote. Make a decision, stick with it, go vote. And then something I know we talked about a while ago, and it's really sad that it's coming true, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu actually just, well, he got his way. He didn't dissolve Parliament. Parliament voted in Israel to dissolve themselves so that they can have an election instead of in January of 2013 they're moving it up to this month uh, they're giving it less than a month's notice and they're going to have it now and then the transitional government uh, will basically be Benjamin Netanyahu making all the decisions which in comparison for those of you who want to compare America with Israel that's like George Bush getting sole proprietorship over our government and being like, hey, Iran, remember that time that you said you wanted to wipe us off the map? Oh, yeah, I have the one of the greatest militaries in all the world. Let's dance. I'm just saying, it could get ugly really fast. And, you know, because we're Texans, we love to hate on France, so we're going to hate on France for a second. Well, particularly Francois Holland, their new socialist president, who apparently 
is uh, campaigning to the young because he wants to ban homework as a part of uh, his new educational policies. Now, his reasoning's pretty sound. He thinks that work should be done at work and home should be done at home. And that should be on all levels, be it school being work or work being work. And that's, like, fine and good, except kids don't always learn that way. I learned that way. I would have preferred to leave everything at school and not be punished because I was bored with all the work that they wanted to send me home with. But, uh, you know, I don't think that that's a good policy on the whole scale. Well, yeah. People are people are dumb. It's okay. It probably won't get passed. But at the same time, he's now a socialist head of a country, so things could just get done because he said so. Now for our last big story of today, I wanted to talk about the guy who they just arrested in New York for trying to blow up the Federal Reserve Building in New York. My first thing, I want to make a joke, and is that I know plenty of people that think the Federal Reserve needs to go away, but not like that. So, okay, you know, get that out of the way, clear the air a little bit. This guy had like five names, uh, one of them being Muhammad, so it's a reasonable guess that he is probably of the Islamic faith. That and the fact that he made a suicide bomb video, uh, you know, to, to broadcast to the world, where he said something, something to the effect of, we will not be stopped. We will be victorious or martyrs. Um, he 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 doesn't sound like a very pleasant individual. He he's 21 years old. He's way younger than me, which is really weird to think about these days. Because my birthday is coming up. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> subtle hint. But this this kid, this 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 child of a man. Uh, you know, met up with a you know some a supplier of bomb parts who happened to be an undercover operative uh, of the FBI's, and then take this undercover operative to where he was making the bomb, and then constructed the bomb in a van, and then drove it to the site, took the guy, and 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 recorded that suicide video, tried to detonate the bomb, and then got taken down by like every. FBI agent in New York, because who wouldn't, let's be honest. But it, it scares me that, that you know, these things are going on, and, and plots are happening, and we, we, we barely hear about them. Apparently there's been like 15 of these since uh, September 11th, but we, we don't really hear about them. I'd like, I'd like more stories like this where we actually hear, hey, we've thwarted this really big plot, Go us, yay America, rather than just, like, hiding it and sweeping it under the rug and know everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Everything is kind of screwed up and scary, and we need to hear that it's not so bad because we're being watched over by Big Brother. I mean, the FBI. Uh, you know what I mean. Anyways, if that was a little bit too dark for you, here's a picture of Cy and Hugh Jackman being Wolverine-y together, because, you know, Cy does that. He just walks into a place and he's like, sup, uh, Gangnam style. And it just happens. And apparently he is also a Wolverine as well with Hugh Jackman. Oh, gosh. And I thought this was Photoshop too. Like whenever I first saw it on, on Facebook, I thought somebody totally like Photoshop stuff together. But no, 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 no. It was on Twitter. And then Wolverine, uh, the Hugh Jackman showed this picture and it was like, whoa, they like hang out and stuff because you know, famous people hang out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching The Extraordinary Times. I just had to slip that in. I've been really kind of obnoxiously obsessed with Gangnam Style a little bit since my friends ruined me with it. Anyways, like and subscribe and favor and, you know, share us with your friends because we like it. And until next time, be aware. without the fail.